Welcome back to our Face the State discussion. Our next question comes from my colleague Juan Castillo. Juan? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Chief Mello, and also I'd like to also have uh, Governor Lamont chime in on this. We absolutely we need transparency in our community uh, because part of the reason why we have this distrust is because we haven't had transparency. For instance, Chief Mello, you mentioned uh, body cams, right? We just had a case in, Man in Manchester where body cams were involved. Uh, the body cams, the video did not come out till much later uh, after, after the case, uh, after it happened. Uh, in addition to that, uh, there is policy, and this is where I think we need to start looking at, uh, not only yourself, uh, but also the governor, in regard to uh, police officers and the union reps and the lawyers being able to look at that body cam video before they even, before you even investigate the situation. Uh, and can you speak to that, please? Governor, Chief, who'd like to go first? Chief? Hey, Chief. Mr. Governor. I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with the audio. Well, I'll go that? ahead. Um, All right, we'll take the, yeah, let the governor jump in here. Right. Governor? I can hear the question. I, I can tell you that um, Senator Winfield, uh, Representative Stastrom, myself, we signed the bill last year that said all body cam videos must be released within, uh, I think it was four days. Uh, I, I checked with a, a security detail, the state police, and I said, do you find this intrusive? And they said, no, um, I, I think it's going to show that we're trying to do the right thing. But to your point, um, it's really important that we get the video out quickly, show that there's nothing to hide, let people make a determination. But I do want the state's attorneys and others to then bring, um, bring justice uh, more quickly. We've been delayed over the last four months due to COVID. I think people have a right to get an indication of uh, where we're going because you can't leave that out there hanging too long. What I thought was particularly distressing when I saw that video out of Minneapolis was realizing that cop who had his knee on uh, George's uh, neck, he had something like 17 or 18 citations going back over a long period of time and nothing had happened. So to Scott's point, that's shocking that nothing had happened. Chief, you wanna jump and, in And here? also, I'd like to also- Absolutely. So um, to address body cameras, and, I, and I'm glad we're talking more about body cameras. As I mentioned in the beginning of the show, beginning of the broadcast that uh, We've had body cameras for a long time, and 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 so uh, it, we, uh, in fact, I, I, I uh, we chaired a committee to uh, write the policy on body cameras, which is uh, more restrictive than the state law required, more restrictive than you've seen in in many states, requiring police officers to use body cameras um, in every enforcement uh, um, interaction, and we also increase beyond the state records of retention requirements that those body cam footage. That those uh, that that footage be stored for a greater period of time. I strongly believe that every police officer should have a body cam. And I remember uh, there was the state put a lot of money and offered a lot of money for police officers, police departments to buy it. Um, it's a it's a very expensive program. The reoccurring costs are very expensive. But you know, as, as I think it was Joe Biden that said many years ago, "Don't tell me what you value, show me your budget, and I'll tell you what you value." So I think it is important. I think uh, every police officer should should have. Uh, a body camera, and and to your point regarding um, the uh, um, the the uh, allowance for uh, union off, or excuse me, for the union and for police officers to see their body camera when there's uh, a use of force, uh, that was not in our original policy. Um, that became part of the legislation, and uh, you know, and and I said when that happened, we don't allow um, um, we don't allow criminals or those suspects to see uh, the body cam footage before we speak to them. Um, and so right. we, in our policy, as we interpret it, and, and I would encourage other departments to do the same, uh, we comply with the law and we'll always follow the law, but in a situation where there's an arrest, if there's an arrest, we will not go, we're not going to allow you to, uh, to look at that because we're going to treat you not as a police officer, but uh, if you're arrested as a, as a suspect of a crime. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. And 